Hi, this is Eric, and today we're going to take a look at how to add sound to your smart notebook lessons. When you want to add a sound to an object in notebook, using an MP3 is really the best way to accomplish that. Now, we belong to a website called schools.clipart.com, and when you go to that from school, this is what you usually see. You're logged in automatically, and you can search for pretty much anything. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Now, if you don't know how to do that, use the Control key and the Plus key on your keyboard. And I look over here to where I've got this Media drop-down menu. We, usually, we leave it a clip art, but let's go down to Sounds today and see what we get. Well, much less choice. I'm going to click Browse and to see what all the sounds are. Oh, look at this. We've got quite a few objects uh, or categories here. I'm going to go to animals and birds. I'm thinking of spring and robins being the harbingers of spring. I'm going to find a sound here, and there it is for the robin. Now, notice that they are all .wav files. We have to convert it to an MP3 in order to use it with notebook. But it's quick and easy. Let's see how to do it. First of all, right click on Robin on the sound I want. Then I'm going to select Save Target As. I'm saving the sound as something, right? I'm going to put it in my music file and we'll call it Robin.wave. And I'm going to call it Robin2 because I already saved it before there. All right, so. There's a save. I've got that. I'm done with schools.clipart.com for now, unless I want another sound or clip art. So I'm going to minimize that. Now I'm going to convert it to an MP3 file using Audacity. Remember, we use Audacity to make MP3 files of student voices. So I'm going to go to Audacity, then File, then Open, and I'm going to find that Robin Wave sound. And there's the Robin 2 Wave sound that we looked at before, click open, and here it is. I can hear it. That's what I like. Now remember, just like with student voices, we're going to go to file, then export, and we can keep it the same name, I guess, but we want to make sure it's an MP3 file, right? It's very important to select MP3 as the type, and make sure I'm in the right spot. Make sure I find the proper spot for my save, my H drive, my I'm putting things in my music folder to tell you the truth. So I'm going to click save now that I'm in the right spot and I have MP3 selected and I have a name. And remember, this is if we're going to put it on an iPod, we can fill in all this information. Don't want to just click OK. Now I'm done. I don't need to save any changes. Let's go to my instructional page in notebook here. So here I've got this page I'm working on for spring with the kids. I'm going to click on the robin and, to activate him, then click on the drop down menu. I'm going to go to sound up near the bottom. I'm going to browse for that robin mp3 sound and there it is robin2 mp3. I'm going to open it. I'll play the sound just to make sure it works. Sounds good. Okay, now I have a choice, corner icon or object. You know from my other videos, I like to select object so that the kids can just touch the object to make the sound, and then click OK. Now, when I move the mouse over the clip art that is the bird, you see the hand icon appear. So that's telling the kids, click me, click me. And we get the bird sound. So that's how you add a sound to an object in Notebook. I hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions, send me an email.